primary objective of the Healing Country program is to reduce sediment going into the Great Barrier Reef Lagoon. One of the really likeable things about leaky weirs is that they're quite cheap and easy to construct and using just a bit of chicken wire, and maybe some wooden stakes or pegs and whatever you've got in the vicinity. So here today we've got lots of rocks lying around, hence that's what we're going to use. It's a very hard, rocky surface as it is. So that means that using something that's quite disruptive to flow like rocks is going to be okay. If you're in a more fragile soil, say you have a soda soil, you might opt for something more like stick leaky weirs that let a bit more water through and they're going to have less chance of scouring around the outside and failing. First step of setting up is getting the wire ready. Usually with setting up the wire, you always leave a bit of slack in it so then you can fold it more neatly and plus then it'll have a bit of leeway on holding the, the banks and sides in. Always put your larger rocks on the bottom because they, they fit flush a lot nice and plus they add that extra weight and bulk to the bottom. Like say you can get like smaller rocks like this at the end when you're finalizing it all and just chuck them in the little gaps and that helps just create a bit of a wedge and just restricts the flow a bit and catches more soil along the way. One of the important things to do is to keep things neat and tidy at least is when you have a bit of excess hanging over, you want to try and strain it out and then just fold the ends in like so, which just helps hold the general shape together and also just keep it uniform. To finish it off, we'll put some hay on top of it the purpose of the hay as well also helps with catching sediment and also uh, just leaf litter and just stuff that would flow through the gully. That also helps catch it and block it up. And that is the you know, rock weir. Very simple, very straightforward, doesn't take much. Some of the main considerations when looking at building leaky weirs are where exactly to put them in your gully system. Most of the time we'll work relatively high up in the catchment, we can intercept the water flow before it gets a big head of steam and before it can get a lot of velocity to it. So here I'm standing on top of a rock weir that was built approximately two years ago. As we can see, it is holding up really well. Um, it's full to the brim with sediment and it's catching a lot of organic uh, debris like leaf litter and sticks and that sort of thing as well. So if we move upstream, you can see today we've built two more in between the one that I just mentioned and another one about 10 metres further up. This one starts effectively where the sediment ends from the previous one. That way we have a stepped or tiered or terraced system to catch as much sediment as possible from this gully complex. Oh, it's, it's great. Uh, working along with the reef assist program and all that, I never thought I'd work in something, say, so significant and it definitely puts a bigger picture in mind of how things work from inland to, to ocean and coast. And guess what we're doing inland is definitely making a difference. It does make me feel like I have more of a connection when I work on country. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right for my culture and um, yeah, very happy about that. <laughs>